welcome viewers to this uh, video of the uh, final stages of a flight from Bay of Islands into Whangarei. Uh, a lot of you might recognise Whangarei if I said Wangarei, but in actual fact it is Whangarei. In the local language, the Maori way of saying WH, etc. We're just coming in over the Portland Cement Works so we're coming in uh, basically from the east and heading into Whangarei Airport it's a shocker of a day it wasn't too bad when we left Bay of Islands but since then a front has come in and uh, the cloud and the rain is just uh, overtaken so um, we'll just keep on motoring through this gloom and uh, low cloud and rain towards Whangarei airport which I've got on the GPS there and um, I hope that the visibility will allow us to to land today the cloud seems to be just uh, broken stratus and some cumulus all mixed in with the rain. So. When I can't see the ground, I'm eyes glued to the instruments. Uh, instrument flight rules keep the altitude above a thousand feet keep the speed up at least 120 if possible and keep the aircraft level and try not to let the rate of climb or descent exceed 1500 feet a minute at any point however that's so gusty and turbulent today that uh, sometimes we find that the aircraft rises or climbs before we've had even time to uh, react for instance there we go that's over a thousand feet a minute without an aircraft attitude change anyway luckily just then the cloud broke and we can get a glimpse of country that uh, lies below if we should make a mistake and experience tells me that uh, township of Whangarei, the city, is just ahead and if the cloud breaks then we'll get to see it. Just hold that attitude and wait for the... we're still coming down at 500 feet a minute but it's okay because we've got a bit of altitude in reserve and there we are, there's Whangarei bits of it over that way in the gloom somewhere is the airport and we're just coming in over some of the suburbs there's the harbour and the uh, inlet that leads up to the main part of Whangarei which we don't really get a particularly good view at today but uh, a video like this, a preview video, I don't want to give too much away what the scenery contains. Just concentrate on flying and keeping this thing in the air in this rather gloomy dull day. So there's the main part of Whangarei up there. Okay so we are on uh, downwind. A little bit longer. We must be nearly a beam yeah, we've gone past a beam the airstrip, so soon we'll be able to turn base. It's a very pretty little town nestled away where it is in the mouth of the inlet. Luckily visibility is holding quite good at the moment. Got a 
enough to complete the circuit in anyway but um, it's quite bumpy and gusty and turbulent in the air so I've got to keep working the control yoke to try and keep this aircraft at pattern height on the required heading somewhere past the pillar there is the airport but I can't quite see it clearly at the moment at the front and uh, behind the pillar yes yeah there's the approach lighting so a little bit longer we'll turn final thousand feet exactly perfect pattern height and we can start turning final here and <coughs> see how we're lined up Uh oh, wrong call. Try again. Right. So that uh, disrupted me a bit and I realised that I've gone past the centre line of the runway so we'll have to come back to line up again. Which is no big deal. Just a bit embarrassing, that's all. How atmospheric is the uh, the view out there today? Just absolutely sodden with rain. Some big Tasman Sea front has come across. But at the same time we've got plenty of visibility to keep an eye on the runway and get in nicely. Probably be a little bit um, bouncy or whatever as we try and land because of the turbulence okay so speed's good, flaps good everything's right glide slope's good just slightly above but that's where you want to be in a GA plane Just a little bit of power on. Oh, you see that gust just there. And getting a little bit of wind shear towards the ground. Hold the nose up. Speed bleeds off. And yeah, there's the stall. And oh well, not too bad. Could have been worse. Right, we'll go and taxi in and um, see if we can find an umbrella. So Whangarei services uh, most of Northland from uh, near Waipu, Dargaville, all those areas. Not to mention the town itself. It's a very pretty part of New Zealand with the uh, Bay of Islands not far up the road, Tutukaka, the Poor Knights other tourist attractions and the local uh, airport flying club does offer joy flights in a technam I believe and very very pretty scenery probably on a nice sunny day it would look uh, even better than it does today but uh, there's something about the rainy north that sort of uh, suits with the Scottish heritage of a lot of the population that ended up in this part of New Zealand. Anyway, just about home and hosed now. Beautifully modelled airport as we expect from our friends at Orbex. And there we shall leave this movie. And if you want to uh, experience the airport for yourself, orbexdirect.com is where you can get it. Catch you later.